In this lesson, I want to look at random number generation. Now, random numbers are extremely useful when coding. For example, we can use a random number in a game. Um, let's say we want the computer to pick a number between 1 and 100, and we're going to try and guess it. Random numbers and random functions are also really useful when we want to select random values in arrays. And we'll be completing a little challenge based on this later in the course. In order to generate a random number, we need to know what the function is actually called. So we can use the php.net manual and perform a search. So let's head on over. So I'm on the php.net website. I've gone to the manual and I'm going to search for random. And there we go. Rand generating a random integer. So I'll select that. Here's the description and it looks like we've got two options. The first one returns an integer, so a whole number. The function name is rand and in this case it's void. In other words, we don't need to pass anything in. The second option allows us to pass in a minimum value and a maximum value. And that's what I want. I'm going to generate a random number from a list of 1 to 100. So I'll head on over to Code Anywhere. I've created a file called random number. And I want to generate a random number. So I'll call my random number, well, I'll call it random number. And I'm using camel case, if you recall. So random number equals rand. And then in round brackets, I want to go from 1 to 100, semicolon on the end. And I'll just echo out that random number. I'll save that, heading over to my preview, and I'll refresh. And there we go, we've got a random number of 60. I'll refresh again, 47 this time, and then 80. So hopefully you can see how that would be really useful if we wanted to use that in a little game or to pick something at random. Now there are other random functions and we will come on to those later in the course.